Hello there, Seth here from macOS 10 screencast.com. Today I'm going to show you Voodoo Pad. Voodoo Pad is a really brilliant application. You can grab it at flyingmeat.com slash Voodoo Pad. It comes in three flavors as a light version and Voodoo Pad uh, normal and Voodoo Pad Pro. Only the light version is free. The other two versions cost a little money, but they are really worth it. To get us started, we just go straight to um, Voodoo Pad. I create a new document which I currently call Quick Notes. Quick Notes may, may be a project that is ongoing like you know cleaning your household or just write down some to-dos which you then transfer into your to-do list application or whatever. Sure, Voodoopad alone is able to be used as a to-do manager and I will show you these functions just right now. So. What is VoodooPad? VoodooPad is a rich text editor which creates documents in a wiki-like manner. So to get us started I just insert some Glorum Ipsum right now. You can select text and just as normal go to the font menu in the format uh, section and there you can make text bold or underline it or something like that. But this isn't really the power of VoodooPad. VoodooPad's Voodoo power comes from creating these wiki links in your document. When I enter text in VoodooPad, I can select the text, go to the menu, click on link, and this will create a new document inside the current document, the subpage, you might say, which you can then re-edit and link to. So I you see that I created this Voodoo pad um, page in my Quick Notes document, and there I just want to write down down notes about Voodoo pad. So, for instance, I will take a beautiful graphic from this website, which tells me, okay, now you're on your Voodoo pad subpage. I grab the logo from the website, go to Voodoo pad, and drop there this logo. I then go back and select the first two paragraphs here. Click, click on the text and move it over to Voodoopad, drop it there and you see Voodoopad has automatically inserted this uh, text here. When you're on some other page, like on a lorem ipsum subpage, you can then just write the words Voodoopad and you will see that this will be automatically underlined and linked and when you click it you will be taken to the Voodoopad subpage again. This document is called Quick Notes. So normally you, you write Quick Notes on a, on a desktop, on a, on a real desktop with your uh, pen and some paper and VoodooPad does a really cool job in helping you to do this on your computer. You can create a subpage that I will call Sketch right now. You see that I can insert sketches of something like my own name which is not very easy <laughs> to write on a MacBook Pro oh god that was awful um, you can even select some other color and this is me okay this looks very awful insert this picture and this picture you can export as a picture again as JPEG, PNG and so on the next thing I'm on, I want to show you or focus on is when do I need to save my work? You may say, oh my god, I have this big project running at the moment and it's really hard to do, to re memorize that I have to press my command S button frequently. Don't care much about this shortcut. Okay, you should care about this shortcut, but Voodoopad automatically saves your documents when certain uh, actions are happening, like creating new links or when VoodooPad loses the focus. You see that this document is saved now. Let's go to the next step. You may already have noticed this little, little window on the right here. This is called the palette. You can create more palettes by, by going to the window menu here. The palettes show you many little aspects of, of your uh, VoodooPad document, like backlinks, document info. You can re-edit this to your needs. You can do event scripts, which will be automatically executed when some events happening like documented open, page was deleted and so on and so forth. 
uh, you can edit your document info you see a little overview of all your pages tags, you can even create tags for pages or the whole document like um, sketch to do um, voodoo pad website and so on you can add tasks you can change the type of the font currently used and pretty much anything that is regarding your document. Okay, to the for some other use of VoodooPad I will show you another document I've created with VoodooPad. This one's taken from my honors thesis I've written this year. This subject shows you how you just can easily change text in your document with the type palette. My name here, Andreas Seidler, is automatically underlined because I have this name in my address book. When I click this uh, link I will be granted with this menu where I can open my address book or I can write me an email or some other person. Clicking the link or opening in the in address book will just take straight to my entry in my address book. For the subpages I have chosen just to insert text from a LaTeX document to show you this feature. VoodooPad isn't just useful for creating these type of documents, it is also great when creating documents for projects. When you're working with, with projects you normally have many different documents you're working with. This is no real problem for VoodooPad, just create a new entry in this list, so maybe go to another application, enter some text or do some graphic stuff or whatever, save it to somewhere and then just drag your document across to VoodooPad and this document will be automatically linked to VoodooPad. So whenever I click this link here the other application will show up with this document and I can just re-edit. VoodooPad is even able to do things like that um, honors thesis and then I move my document to this folder go back to VoodooPad and this is really cool it automatically has recognized that this file was removed to another folder and it will be magically opened again. Okay what else can you do with uh, VoodooPad? I will show you one other thing in my case this Honest thesis is my, this is the English summary of my honest thesis. The normal document was written in German. And, and I want to share this document with some of my friends. I go to the file menu, click on export document and there I have several options like export it to Apple Classic, export it to iPhone. There's a free version of VoodooPad Reader in the App Store. You can download it for free and this application will read your VoodooPad documents. You can export it to RTFD to word fl uh, format and this one's maybe the greatest this will export your document to HTML so when you have an, um, a company which handles all the customer related stuff as a, in a wiki with VoodooPad you can export it to HTML, upload it to your server and all your customers will be able to read your wiki. In the case of VoodooPad this page here the online VoodooPad documentation was created with VoodooPad itself. I hope you liked this screencast a lot. If you want to be able to get one of three licenses for free, go to our website, comment there on this uh, screencast, link to us if you want and if you want to support the development of VoodooPad, go to their website and buy one of the licenses for $15 or $30. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!